everybody, I'm Yutsuki, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Same as a couple episodes ago, literally no time has passed in between recordings. So let's keep going. Since I didn't really get a checkpoint. Hey guys. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. He probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. If I were you, you'd be a foot taller. If you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey! <laughs> and about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared too much. With your arm and my leg, I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. <laughs> I would have had to chop this one off for you to even stand a chance. Wish you would have taken it off? Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah, it's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. <sighs> so when we get this guy, what do you think? We just find Clementine, nothing else. Figure out who he is, what he did. We just get Clementine, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... Then I'll rip this dude's head off. I'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? Yeah, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. <laughs> Kenny's been horrible to her. He blames Ben for his family's death, and it's just more complicated than that. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny, whatever that's good for. All right, I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure, if you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. <laughs> Gotta be a man. <laughs> yeah! Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. Then how do we know you're not bitten now? Da -da -da. How are you? I'm... Uh... I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. <laughs> really? This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord oh, no. knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. Hey, hey. Part of the bitch. Hey, you're still a bastard. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well... Cheers. I guess in the end, me and Kitty pretty much made up. I bet. Why not? I'm gonna die anyway. Might as well have a decent drink. No.
<laughs> chuck, 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 chuck. Game's like, damn. <laughs> I'm through. Damn, Omid. Holy crap. I didn't even get to beat no the crap workers. out of the wall. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. Look for anything good we can use. Ben's, uh, Ben's been awfully quiet. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Let's keep moving. I've gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. Jesus. I'm sorry, Kim. You can start making me cry in a second. God damn she it. She left me. A son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Every bullet counts. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Right. Okay. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. I was gonna ask if there's any bullets in that drawer, but okay. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. What makes you say that? Seems like a pretty happy, healthy family. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. I mean, find any ammo? It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Game is one of the most like. What do you call this thing? Art? I have no idea. How you doing, Ben? With a spit. Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. All right. It's probably luck, but balcony. Ah, uh, any luck, we may be able to jump over. Or jump up, maybe. Nothing other than personal items in here. Yeah, quote, personal. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Oh, of course. Make me go first. I don't like this! Dun -dun. <clears throat> Good thing I have my two arms, but damn, that had to hurt. Why are they making the crippled people go first? Holy crap, these people have like abs of steel. That guy has to hurt. Ben. Ben! Ah! Me and my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny! Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. Will... Keep an eye out. Ow! Um, I'm okay! I 
I'm okay. Just get me out of here. Are you okay? What the fuck happened, Ben? I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Fucking hell. Didn't hit his spine. Slightly what is it? Head. I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, God! Gotta be a very fucked up moment. Just yank him off that thing. What? Fast, like a band aid. Do you think? Zombies are already on their way to eat us. Either rip him off or we're all going to die. Fuck! I didn't wait this long just so Ben can die! Fuck! <laughs> Maybe he can't oh get God, to the head. Oh God, don't let them get to me! Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! Not leaving you, Kenny. Fuck, Kenny! Lee, Lee, it's okay. No, kid! No, it's not! It's just something I gotta do. You know that. Go get that girl! Back, you sons of bitches! Yeah. Damn it, Kenny! What happened? I, I tried to help. What the fuck happened? There was just too many of them. Ben was really messed up, and I don't know. There's nothing else. God damn! God! I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He did what he had to, all the way to the end. We should go. Right behind you. Phil's trip. I'm a heartless monster, like I've said before. 
but this game is just... It's sucker punches to the fields. Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. He was what passes for a friend now. I understand. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone. Means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Good. Thanks. Whatever your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do. Fuck. Be careful across here. I was able to make it to a bell tower on a ladder? So I think I'm gonna be fine on this. River Street's just up ahead. Wait, I mean, how do you know that? Oh, wait, we found oh, him near. Careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where their next meal is. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay. If you notice, Lee is slowly getting more pale as time goes on. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Totally not. For sure even hardcore parkour ninjas would say fuck going mission. First. You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, basically Lee just said, you, we already know she's pregnant. She's walking for two, and I'm walking solo. Again, why not just step down and walk across? Looks like he's about to try to balance act here. There. Clementine, Lee. Clementine, do it for her. Right. Just go nice and slow. I am so gonna die. Now, oh, guess what? I'm gonna die. It'd be fantastic if I didn't die. You know what's gonna happen? I am so gonna die. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Yeah. Right. Oh, God. Oh, shit. oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. fuck. Shit! Are you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. This is fucking peachy. What are you gonna do? Fuck it. I'm going for it. I'll figure something out. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find one when we get down there. Let's meet in town. Find a boat. We'll meet north of town. A boat? We still have to get out of the city. I'll get Clementine and meet you. What if? Don't what if. I'll meet you. I was going to say train, but boat would honestly be safer. Because you saw the water lines. There was no zombies near the water line because of Crawford. Train, on the other hand, if it was anything recent, well, you already saw the zombies near the train. So chances are they kept following the train tracks. I'm sorry, I, I put a lot of logic into this. 
to me. About 10,000 zombies. I've already been bit. So you know what? Unintentionally, I guess this is going to be my final episode of The Walking Dead. footsteps. And the friendly neighborhood's kind of gone uh, downhill. Alright. One door leads to make-believe. The other, Narnia. Ah, fuck. Hi, Mr. Rogers. I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? Yeah. I know who you are. You saw my car out front then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. I did take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? I 
Yes, of course. Who? Guy named Kinney. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? Well, you did kind of kidnap a little girl, so... No. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find some place safe for her. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died! I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! How could you know all this? You found a walkie-talkie. The exact same as Clementine's. You're a monster. You're a murderer. And a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. <laughs> Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. You're about one sentence away from hey, me honey, your fucking head I off. think this is all gonna work out. What are you... Nope, there is a I'm head glad in that bag. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. 
she wouldn't hurt a fly. That's my little girl. Oh, let's see. Oh, come on, Ned. Kill off me. Don't you fucking touch Clementine again. He... he could come back. It's okay, Sweet Pea. We're leaving. Good. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Stranger. It's his wife's head. Yet somehow moving. Since they didn't kill the brain. No, I know. I don't know why. It gives me the option to look at him. I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? way out. Through there. Lunch. There was only one round. It, it didn't bite you. Yeah, I know it. Must have. You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. You're gonna hate this, Clementine. Oh no. Yeah, just start chopping into a zombie, it's cool. Right in front of her, it's, it's fine. Clem, I'm sorry about this, but it's the only way. I'm sorry. Ooh. 
I'm so sorry, Clementine. We'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. We'll get you Oops. cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. I'm sorry, Clem. I really am, but it's got to be done. <laughs> Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. Can't do anything to him. There. That should do it. I hope so. I'm a monster. I thought it was gone. No way. I thought you were gone. Thank you. I love you, Clementine. I do. I wonder how Stay many... right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm-hmm. I'll keep you safe. 